Hey, and your you'll know it's the right video because you're gonna see this picture on there, and you'll see this part at the beginning of the video. Okay, All right, <laughs> see you guys next time. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>
kind of the same rule applies here as applies in Amsterdam. Uh, look for cars, look for trams, but then don't forget to look for bikes because it's the bikes that's gonna hit you when you're crossing the street. And then the one thing I love about this city, kind of like in Holland and Amsterdam, like people, you just have places, people just kind of park their bikes, not really attached to anything, just, just outside the store. Normal. But now to my weakness. Well, I was gonna say the electronic store for my weakness, but I found myself in these electronic stores here looking more books. sure if anyone watching this or if you guys come here you'll notice it um but everyone has really really cool shoes here like interesting everyone has interesting shoes here there's like no one with just like kind of normal shoes well, I mean there's no normal shoes but the, everyone has really interesting shoes second bookstore as well. This place looks really cool. It's right across from the bookstore, but I think this is a bookstore and it's a place where you can eat and you can have a coffee as well. There's a lot of bookstores here, a lot of cafes, a lot of bookstores. This has a possibility. Wait for the sun, hold on, hold on, hold on. This has, this has the possibility to be one of my favorite cities in Belgium. It might be my favorite city in Belgium. I'm 90, I'm 70% sure this is my favorite city in Belgium. city 85% sure 85% sure it's my favorite city in Belgium it's amazing 85% sure oh yeah did I tell you guys there's a, there's a lot of bikes here sun is out beaming it is actually quite warm with the sun like seriously love this city I literally don't even know what to tell you guys because uh, I've kind of been walking around just enjoying myself but seriously this city's like amazing guys if I've ever said this city's amazing this is the one Yo, and actually this is this is probably like 20 minutes later i'm still here in this kind of place uh this place here la pan i think not sure you say it but it means daily bread i'm still here outside looks like a lot of people come here and just are kind of just sitting here chilling and the sun is out so sometimes i i want to walk around and do all this kind of stuff but then the moment kind of takes over it's just like just sit chill and just enjoy the moment Okay, but super starving. This place is supposed to be pretty good. It's been recommended. Waz Bar is the name.
think yesterday maybe made a little bit of mistake thinking that that was the only Grand Place or that there was just two Grand Places here, I think. I'm getting all these cities confused, but this is a pretty cool place as well. It's like three minutes walking from the other one. You know, actually I'm realizing also this square here seems to be the more quieter of the squares and places here. So if you guys are here, you'll know this square. It's the one that has the least amount of people here. At least maybe it's just a today thing, but it seems like this area is more calm and quiet. Oh, and I kind of must say, I kind of have no destination or plan or anything. Just kind of walking around and just exploring the city when it's not raining. I'm like, I'm, I love the city. I know I say that about a lot of places and I do really like a lot of places, but this place is, there's something special about this place. And I'm like 89.9% .9 sure this is probably my favorite city in Belgium so far. check out Julie's house. Well, Julie, the, that's the name of this place. Don't actually find a Julie and go to her house. Actually come to this place. It looks amazing. The only disappointing thing about this place is the red velvet cake right here. Right here, which I really was hoping that I could have. I'm not complaining, but I was really hoping to have it. It's only decoration. It's only decoration. But I said if they offer, if she offered me a discount, I would, I would buy it and still eat it for. She gave me like 50% off, but she didn't agree. But it's all good. Julie's house. That's the name of the place. Super good. Um, I'm actually relaxing. I have maybe, I don't know, maybe I'm gonna take a few minutes here to relax, kind of take everything in. Then it's a two, three, I don't know, it's a long drive back to Burke. But I didn't want to kind of take you guys through the drive back and everything, so I'll save you guys a trip. And I already kind of thought ahead to this happening, me coming back and just taking it easy. So we'll go back to where I already ended the vlog. Uh, in a pretty cool place here in the city again, but I will say one more time before you're going to hear me say it again. But this is an amazing city. Um, and I'm like 93% sure that this is like my favorite city uh, here in Belgium so far. I would definitely be back. But enough talking. Take you back to where I ended the vlog. Um, Pre ended the vlog before. Um, and I'm gonna finish this uh, this wonderful carrot cake from Julie's house. Um, okay, whoo! And kind of brought you guys back here because this is kind of a super quiet area. And and then I just want to think this is like an amazing city. Probably, honestly, now that I know, I can say with 98% certainty, this is probably my favorite city that I've seen so far here in uh, in Belgium. I think it's so beautiful, it's quiet, it's calm, and there's a lot of cafes, a lot of places to chill and reflect. And I think that's pretty important when you're traveling because you're moving all the time, moving, moving, moving. And sometimes if you don't sit down, you find yourself just running yourself dry and running yourself down. And here, it just seemed like it was such so quiet already. And I don't know, I just, I'm gonna be back here. I'm definitely gonna be back here. And wow, that bike is finished. I'm definitely gonna be back here. I recommend you guys come here, check this place out for yourself. This is another place you won't regret it. Bruges is more calm and quiet. 
if I have to compare it to something you guys have recently seen. And this one is quiet as well in certain areas, but in the center it's full of people, of course, but you have life, but you also have quiet. You have the best of both worlds. I think it's one place that I will be excited to come back to and explore more. But until then, it's cold, hands are freezing, so I wish you guys a beautiful day, morning, afternoon, wherever you guys are. Thank you guys for watching. I'll talk to all of you later. And everyone always remember to work hard, be brave, and don't forget to smile. Ciao.